Could you get me all the birth certificates that have been uh, issued uh, in the United Nations since they started? Yeah. <laughs> and all the death certificates that were issued from the United Nations? Yes. <laughs> now, you would say that I don't really have the right to sue them for refusing to enforce their authority. Yeah. But when you get a marriage certificate, usually what happens is there's a birth certificate. That's right. <laughs> and when uh, you get married, uh -huh, at certain times, the spouse dies. Yes. Now, I know you said, well, we're just not going to do this. <laughs> but just kind of looking at this Marbury. Yeah, because it's I just heard about it yesterday. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh, it's something where there was a precedent setting case. Mm hmm. Where somebody had said, well, these are all going to be judges. And then a new administration took over and said, well, I'm not going to issue it. Yeah. And then there's the idea of the United Nations being the original jurisdiction of a lawsuit or a different concern. Yeah. Now, let's say I sued the, the, the Supreme Court of the United States. Yes. And they're sitting there and uh, their thought was, well, we don't have original jurisdiction. Yeah. Now, just looking at this, yes, uh, James Madison was Jefferson's secretary of state who was told not to deliver the commissions. Yes. Uh, one man, William Marbury, was upset. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a judge, so he asked the United States Supreme Court oh, to issue a legal order called a writ of mandamus. Now, I mentioned this uh, yesterday, probably. Oh, look at my phone just stopped. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Well, um, what happened was they said, we can't issue that writ of mandamus, right. but we can go back to Congress and obligate them to do certain things. Yes. But the president said, I could be a judge. Mm -hmm. During his last weeks in office, uh, Adams appointed a bunch of men yeah, to be justices of the peace in the District of Columbia. <laughs> now, each man would receive a a paper commission that was signed and sealed. The commissions were prepared, but they were not sent before Adams left office. <laughs> when President Jefferson took over, he refused to send them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now there's this argument. Did you notice that Marbury didn't start in a regular local court? Yeah. He started at the Supreme Court. <clears throat> Normally that would be backwards. Yes. But in 1789, Congress had passed a law saying <clears throat> people could start at the Supreme Court if all they wanted was a writ of mandibus. Yes. Marbury argued that he was entitled to the writ because the commission had already been created. Mm -hmm. He also argued that the Supreme Court had the power to issue the writ. Mm -hmm. Now, the decision at that time agreed that Marbury had a right to receive his commission, ah, but disagreed that the court had the power to issue the writ. Why? Mm -hmm. Because the Supreme Court gets its power directly from the Constitution. Ah. <laughs> and the Constitution says only certain kinds of cases can start at the Supreme Court. <laughs> now, what's interesting, yes, is I could start a large number of cases at the Supreme Court. <laughs> Let's say, yeah, you know of the violating of approximately 24 amendments of the United States Constitution. <laughs> and I decide to take all 24 to the Supreme Court of the United States. I could start right there, couldn't I? Yes. Well, let's go through all 10 of them. I can, I'll get the Constitution out in just a second. <coughs> let's start at all 10 of them. Mm -hmm. Bill of Rights. <laughs> now, it seems kind of mean that I would um, not start at the district court level. Mm -hmm. But considering, right, the arrest that took place on January 4th of 2016. Yeah. Well, you issued a traffic citation that didn't have my actual address because you said I was homeless. <laughs> I think it violated United States Postal Service laws, especially if somebody was trying to find me. Yes. Sometimes they go through police records looking for an individual because they have something of importance that they want to inform them. <laughs> now, if you are a process server and you went to the Squim Police Department, yes, and you ask them, well, do you know where Paul C. Budnick is? They would say the only traffic citation we've issued is homelessness. <laughs> now, that could mean... <laughs> 